after it was all over with, you know, the games were over with, this and that, and years go by, you kind of look back on your life and you're trying to figure out. Because I look at that lifestyle that I was living at that time. I was living on $10,000 a year, driving a 63 VW bug I paid $175 for. Wow. And uh, living in this little dinky apartment and, um, you know, $145 a month apartment and, you know, training six to eight hours a day. Right. You know, that's what I did. I trained and lived on nothing. And I look at that today and I look at the dedication and how much time and energy I put in. I go, why did I do that? And I have to look back and you go back even farther. I look back and say, you know what? If I had not had those issues, being dyslexic and gender dysphoric and these things, confusing things in my head, I wouldn't have needed sports. Let's say like I was just an average kid getting average grades and kind of fitting in with everything. When sports came around, I really wouldn't have needed it. Yeah. But for me, I needed it. And it set up a pattern that really led me all the way through the games. And it's, it's interesting because uh, my biggest asset uh, athletically was not my physical skills. I was okay physically, yeah. you know, I could get the job done physically, but my mental skills, I was just mentally so strong that when I needed a performance, I would come up with that performance. 